President Biden issued an executive order strengthening background checks for guns. The Attorney General of the state of Montana, Austin Knudsen, joins me now. Your Honor, what is the president trying to do and why do you object? Well, there's not a lot honorable about me, Stuart, but I appreciate that. <laughs> no, uh, don't he's, say he's, that. <laughs> he's, he's, trying to, he's trying to sell unicorns and blue sky here. I mean, largely this executive order is, is nothing. It's, it, it's a lot of rainbows and fairy dust. Uh, a lot of it is, is, is quite meaningless, but there are some things that are, that are quite concerning. Uh, he's trying to do as much as he can within his administrative state. But look, he's encouraging the ATF to keep colluding with shippers. To, to, to crack down and make business harder on firearm transfers. We've already seen that with FedEx and UPS. Uh, you've seen my office and a lot of my, my colleagues crack down on that and, and go after those companies, and they've responded. That's, that's illegal collusion. Um, I've got concerns about red flag laws. He wants, to, he wants to increase red flag laws. Those are pretty flagrantly unconstitutional when you're talking about depriving people of their personal property without due process. So there are some things in here that are very, very concerning, Stuart. And you're going to sue on the grounds that the president cannot make law. He can only respond to the law. That's your basic point here. That's exactly right. If there's anybody who should know how law is made, it's a guy who's been in the U.S. Senate for decades. He knows he doesn't have the support in Congress, and he knows he doesn't even have the support from a lot of his own party members in the U.S. Senate, uh, which is why this is largely a toothless executive order but uh, and, and look there are some things in it that are just flagrantly silly got it uh and and their ignorance is really showing on this one uh okay. you know wanting to go after this this myth of undetectable firearms that hasn't been a thing since hollywood made it up back in the 1980s uh but but he's got it in this executive order okay uh, next one montana wants to ban tiktok got a new bill that would fine app stores or TikTok 10,000 bucks for each violation and an additional 10,000 each day the violation continues. You getting in uh, are you trying to ban TikTok outright across uh, across the entire state for everybody and are you getting any pushback? Yes and yes. We we are trying to ban TikTok outright in Montana. I look I, I I'm I'm all for private business. I'm all for free enterprise, but this is a Chinese Communist Party tool. They're not even hiding that fact anymore. We know TikTok is used to spy on Americans. It's used to look at our locations. It's looked to find sensitive intelligence that they can gather off of our pictures. It's used to take facial recognition data, uh, biometric data. They're doing this. So that has got no business being in Montana. Uh, we do have a bill moving. It's through our state Senate. TikTok has finally gotten a little panicky. Uh, they've showed up with some, some Chinese Communist Party money to pay for some lobbyists here in Helena. Uh, and so they're, they're trying to put the brakes on this thing as it moves through our state house of representatives. Would you be happy if the Chinese owners of TikTok were forced to sell? That would certainly make me feel a lot better. If this were a wholly owned American company, at that point, I think we'd probably stand down. But the fact that this is owned and controlled by ByteDance, which is owned and controlled by the Chinese Communist Party, yeah, that's a real problem for us here in Montana. Got it. Austin Knudsen, Attorney General of the state of Montana, the only state that I have never been to, sir. I'm sorry to say that, but it's true. Come visit us. We'd love to have you. I'd love to be there, believe me, but not perhaps in winter. Uh, Austin Knudsen. Yeah, you might want to wait. Yeah.